5G. Switch to Spectrum One and get 300 megabit internet for $49.99 a month, plus free advanced Wi-Fi and one free line of unlimited mobile with talk, text, and data. Call 1-833-743-4999 or visit a Spectrum store today. Rekindle your perfect combination at Pachanga Resort Casino, where you can play it cool with hot hands and warm hearts at Pachanga Resort Casino. No matter where you live. The rain progressively coming down heavier. Mud flows happening right now. Take a look. An entire team out there live. Be prepared for now and what's next. Next weather on KCAL News. I've been waiting a long time for this moment to come. I'm destined for anything at all. KCAL News Mornings. Good morning, everyone. Today is Saturday, February 18. Welcome to KCAL News at 7 on CBS and streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. I'm Rachel Kim. And I'm Sheba Turk. Let's start off with a check of your next weather. Meteorologist Alyssa Carlson joining us live in studio. Good morning, Alyssa. And it was cold heading out this morning. It is. This is the time of year where we have these big temperature swings yeah. from yeah. night to day. And that is exactly what we're seeing. And because of the clouds, that's also aiding in that. So where we have clouds, the temperatures are a little higher this morning. But where skies are clear, it is definitely cold and it is close here to the 30s and 40s even in some locations. So looking at 42 degrees as we make our way out the door this morning in Van Nuys, Burbank, uh, downtown, it's 49 degrees, 50 at LAX, 38 in Laguna Beach and 36 in Temecula. So a wide variety here of temperatures and we're down about five degrees in Fullerton, but along the coast, uh, Long Beach, you are four degrees higher than this time yesterday. Let's take a look at what we can expect here in terms terms of for the forecast today and overall I do have mostly cloudy skies. Temperatures are going to be in the upper 60s though close to 70 for the next uh, three days for this holiday weekend. We'll have that and more in your next weather forecast. Like in this warm up. Thank you so much Alyssa. As always there's a lot going on in your world today. And here are some of the major stories that we're following. LA's Jewish community is shaken by acts of hate after two synagogue shootings. What's being done to ensure Jewish places of worship are not a target. Leave the sis of BMW. Oh, here we go. Uh, we got all three. Three people out. One of them tripped. Four people. All of them. All of them. And from San Diego to LA, the chase that spanned three counties, why these suspects were on the run. And look out for road closures if you're heading towards Pasadena. The Black History Parade and Festival gets underway in just a few hours. But first this morning, many of the Jewish faith in the Pico Robertson district are having conversations about their safety. Yeah, it comes after two hate crimes unfolded in their community and just days apart. Federal prosecutors charged 28 year old Jamie Tran with two federal hate crimes. They say he was motivated by anti-Semitism when he shot two different Jewish men religious services at two separate synagogues. Those of the Jewish faith say they feel both a sense of relief that he's off the streets and charged, but now they're also on edge because their sense of safety in the community from San Diego to here in LA. According to the San Diego County Sheriff's Department, the suspect stole an entire safe of guns in Poway around 8 o'clock last night. No one was home during the burglary. Police say the driver of the car reached more than 100 miles per hour, actually several times. Once they exited the 105 freeway in Watts, a total of four people jumped out of the car. One man was detained while the others got away. In Riverside, an arrest made in a fatal road rage shooting. Juan Escobedo was taken into custody Thursday.